Episode 1 The Box Cheer up, Jun. You'll love the new house and make new friends. Why do we have to move? I barely have any friends and now I have to make new ones all over again. Oh, he does not look happy. We already went over this. I have a new job, so we have to move. You'll be fine. And here we are. Home sweet home. Oh, that looks like a nice house. I don't have a good feeling about this house. It's kind of creepy. Oh, stop it. Why don't you go and pack and check out your new room? Fine. This house gives me the heebie-jeebies. <sighs> Why is this room so cold? Unpacking is so boring. I hope this is the last time we have to move. <gasps> What's that sound? Mom? Is that you? Oh, the light is flickering. What could it be? Mom, did you turn on the closet light? I really don't think it's his mom. Dad, we need a new light bulb. Oh, he's going to open the door. Oh, the previous owner forgot a box. Hmm, chi G mon What's that? There's only one way to find out. That's an interesting box. What could be inside that box? <sighs> Looks like a collection of funny looking toys. <laughs> look at the long stretchy arms on this one. Kind of cool. Oh my, look at how far he stretched the arm. <laughs> so silly. John, you should sleep now. Tomorrow is your first day of school. Okay, good night, Mom. You stay right here by the lamp, okay? Look at the toy's eye. It's not even fully open. How interesting. Oh, he's sleeping all right. It looks like it's getting power from the lamp. The eye is open and the light is bright green. I wonder what that means. The next morning. Hurry up, Jun, or you'll be late for school. Coming! I don't have any friends, but you can be my friend. You'll be safe in my backpack. Oh, he's going to bring the toy to school. Love you. Have an awesome day at school. Sure, Mom. I don't think he seems too excited. Check out this new kid's shoes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Give it back to me. Leave me alone. Oh, no. These kids are mean to him. And he took one of his shoes. That's not nice. You want it? Go get it. Ha 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 ha. Oh, he's going to climb up the tree to get his shoes. So sad. I hate this school already. I don't blame him. These kids are mean to him. Holy moly macaroni. How did my arm get so long? Oh my, did you see that? His arm stretched all the way up. Hmm, do you think this has anything to do with that Chijimon? Watch the next episode to find out. The end. Episode 2. Alive. Yes, I got my shoe. Oh no, how do I restore my arm? I'll have to hide it in my backpack for now. Uh-oh, look at his long arm. That is so crazy. Welcome to our class, Jen. I know I just got here, but can I use the restroom? It's an emergency. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't walk around like this. What do I do? Think, Jen, think. Uh-oh, what is he going to do now? My arm stretched because I wished for it. Maybe I can wish my arm is normal again. Yes, it worked. Okay, I better get back to class. Okay, class, get into small groups to introduce yourselves. My name is Maxis. When I grow up, I want to build things to help the world. I'm Jenny. I wish I had superpowers. <laughs> Having superpowers would be cool. My name is Jun, and I just moved to the city. After school. What happened today? Do I have superpowers now? I wonder if this Chichimon has anything to do with it. 
It can stretch out its arms too. I wonder if the other two in my room can give me superpowers too. I need to find out. Hi, mom. Bye, mom. How do I activate these? I remember putting it by the lamp, and its eye opened the next day. Maybe they have to be near electricity to charge up. I know what to do. I'll put this one by the lamp, and this one next to my computer. Whoa! It's working. They're charging up. Ah! You can talk and move. What is going on? Are you guys real and not just toys? John, can you go get the mail? Thanks. Okay, mom. Oh, <laughs> you want me to bring you along? Sure, let's go. I wonder what special abilities you have. Oh no, the baby bird is falling off the nest. I wish I could run fast enough to save it. Got it! Wow, that was amazing. I ran faster than a car. O M G! I saw what you did, Jun. You have superpowers? Oh no! You saw me? I'm in trouble now. What's going to happen now since someone found out? Is Maxis going to tell everyone? Subscribe for the next episode to find out. The end. Episode three. Spaceship. Uh, uh, I saw you run faster than a car, Jun. Are you an alien? I'm calling the police. No, Maxis. I can explain. Come to my house, and I'll tell you everything. The previous owner of the house left this mysterious box with these Chijimons inside. Did you say Chijimon? I know what they are. They charge up with electricity and give you superpowers. <gasps> How did you know? I read about them over the summer. They're mythical creatures like unicorns and fairies. They're not supposed to be real. Oh, they're very real. Watch. Boo! Ah! Stop it! That's freaky. Look at his arms. It's super duper long. That is pretty freaky. You know what, Jun? If we sell the Chijimons, we'll be super rich. You can buy all the video games, and I can have my own lab for experiments and to build things. You want a lab? Who are you? What kind of kid wants a lab? But I love science. So do you want to sell them or not? No, Maxis. Selling them could put them in danger. We need to keep this a secret for now. Promise? Fine. Hey, what's that thing flying outside the window? I don't see anything. Must have been an airplane. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Anyway, I better go home and pack for the field trip tomorrow. The next morning. Hmm. Which one of you should I bring to the field trip today? Guru 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 guru. All right, I'll bring you since I never brought you anywhere. Hey, I saved you a seat. So did you bring them with you? Shh. We shouldn't talk about this in public. Madam. Why did the bus stop? Uh oh. Something is wrong with the bus. What could go wrong? Everybody, stay calm. I'll go outside to check. The bus is stuck in a pothole. I'll call a tow truck, but we might not make it to the field trip. Oh, oh, that's too sad. Feel free to come out and stretch your legs. It's going to be a while. Maxis, I brought the blue muscular Chichimon. Create a distraction, and I'll see what I can do. I wonder what Maxis is going to do. Hey, everyone! Want to see a magic trick? Watch me disappear! Oh, that is smart. He's trying to gather everyone up so no one is looking at Jun. Wow! It worked. Good job, Chijimon. Wow! Jun just lift that bus up just like that. Easy peasy for him. What in the world? I got it on video and I'm putting it on YouTube right now. I'm going to be so popular. No, Jenny, you can't do that. Too late. It's uploading. Uh oh. Does this mean the whole world's going to find out Jun's secret? 
Is he going to be in danger? Subscribe for the next episode to find out. The end. Episode four. Secret base. This video of you lifting up the bus is going to make me famous on YouTube. You have to cancel the upload, Jenny. You're putting me in danger. In danger? Fine. I'll cancel it for now. But you have to tell me everything. Let's get back inside the bus. The bus driver must have driven out of the pothole. Come on, guys. Let's go back in the bus. Maxis, Jenny knows. Yep, I saw everything. Oh no. Both of you meet me at my house after school. I have an idea. After school. Whoa! This is your room? Oh, <laughs> it's a mini lab. So here's the plan. Jun, you can't keep using your superpowers in public. I'm designing a costume for you so you can hide your identity. I'm going to be a superhero? Look! What's flying outside the window? Wow! That's what I saw at your house, Jun! <gasps> Are we being watched? Oh my gosh! What is going on? What is going on? First, Jun can lift up a bus and now there's a spaceship outside. Somebody tell me what is going on! Okay, Jenny, the previous owner of my house left these Chijimon and they give me superpowers. As for the spaceship, we have no idea what that is. Are they going to capture us? What are we going to do? I can set up a telescope and record the spaceship next time it appears. We can try to look inside it. Good idea, Maxis. Can we use your room as our base since you have all the equipment? That would be awesome. We should go home and do our homework. Let's meet back here when you're done with the costume. Wow, I'm going to have my own costume and become a superhero? How cool is that? It's going to be so awesome helping people with the Chijimon. I'm so excited. Jun, someone is here for you. You guys chat and I'll go make some tea. I'm the previous owner of this house and you may have a box that belongs to me. A box of Chijimon? Have you seen them? Uh... Is the man going to take all the Chijimon back? Wait, is he bad or good? Does this mean Jun can't be a superhero anymore? Subscribe if you want to find out in the next episode. The end. Episode 5. Superhero. My name is Sato and the Chijimon belong to me. Okay, uh, they're in my room. I'll go bring them down for you. No, I want you to keep them. What? You don't want them back? A grown-up gave them to me when I was a kid, and now I'm giving them to you. Why? Chijimon's superpower only works for kids, not grown-ups. One more thing. Beware of the ERA, the evil robot army. They want your Chijimon, but you must protect them. Uh, what? How do I protect them? I'm just a kid! You have superpowers now. Good luck, Jun. Wait, Mr. Sato! I have more questions! Mr. Sato! Huh? Why is his hat on the ground? Where did he go? <gasps> That's strange. How did the top of the tree get burnt? <gasps> it's the spaceship again! Did it take Mr. Sato? One week later. Check out some costume design that I made for you. We can call you PJ Man. Oh no, I am not wearing my underwear outside. What about Rooster Boy? Seriously? Where are my eyes? How am I supposed to see? Here's Diaper Dude. I'm not a baby. You spent all week designing these goofy costumes? Come on now. <laughs> I was just teasing you. There's one more costume. I'll show it to you after school. After school. Your costume comes with this backpack. It has a battery pack to keep the Chijimon charged. That's a neat looking backpack. I can't wait to carry a Chijimon around with it. This is your headgear. 
With this on, you can see important information on screen. It will also allow me to communicate with you. Finally, here's your costume. Try it on in the closet. I can't wait, but why is it all black? Are you done putting on your costume yet? Come out! Wow! It looks great on you! Let's call you Ninja Boy! No! Call me Ninjun! Oh, it makes sense. Ninja, and his name is Jun, Ninjun! Smart idea! That's the boy! I want his Chijimon! Oh no! The spaceship found Jun! Subscribe to find out what's going to happen to him in the next episode! The end! Episode 6 Bullies! I'm glad you like your superhero outfit, Jun! Help! Help! Did you hear that? Someone needs help! Here's your chance to use your power! Go! Go! Ninjun's coming to the rescue! Give me back my backpack! Sure, after I put it in the garbage can! Ha 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 ha! Give it back to him! Huh? Who are you? Is it Halloween already? Ha 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 ha! I'm Ninja and I challenge you to a race. If I win, you have to give it back to him. You want to race me? I'm the fastest in school! If I win, you have to give me your backpack and everything that's inside it. Deal? Deal. Guru? On your mark, get set, <laughs> go! Who's faster now? You're still at the starting line. Uh, what? How did you do that? You're a monster! Run! <laughs> Thanks for helping me out, Ninja. My name is Jaren. How did you run so fast? Don't worry about that. You're safe now. I gotta go. Stay cool. Wow, that was good work, Jun. That was so cool. I can't wait to solve bigger problems. Speaking of bigger problems, check this out. Breaking news! There's been a power outage on 3rd Street and is spreading to other streets. Lights! Phones, cars, and the internet aren't working. We must find out the cause and stop it before the whole city is out of power. I'm on it. Ninja to the rescue. Guru. Wait, Jun. Bring all three Chijimon. You might need all of their superpowers. Be careful out there. It's getting dark. Can you hear me, Jun? Do you see anything unusual? The whole street is out of power. Besides that, no, nothing unusual. Wait. Zoom in over there. It looks like a robot draining power from the car. I'm going to follow it. It's running away. Hurry up. Uh, for some reason, I can't run as fast. Let me try to grab it by stretching my arm. I, uh, I can't stretch it as far. Why aren't my powers working? Oh, I'm exhausted. I can't go anymore well 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 what do we have here you're not so fast anymore huh let's take off his mask to see who it is <laughs> oh no what just happened how come his superpowers don't work what's going to happen if they find out that it's Jun subscribe to find out in the next episode the end. Episode 7, Strange Robots. Finally, we get to see who's behind the mask. Yeah, take his mask. <laughs> ah! Huh? Why are they running away? Uh, Jun, you might want to turn around. What do you mean? I placed a tiny camera on the back of your head so I can see. Just turn around now. Holy moly macaroni! Run! Quick, make a left turn here! Okay, I just did that! Do I turn left or right? Hurry! I can see robots on both sides. You cannot go left or right. Then how do I get out? Duh, go up! What? 
stretch your arms now! Oh, please work, please work! Yes! It worked! I better get out of here! Whew, that was a close one! How come my superpowers are so weak? That's weird. It worked earlier with just one Chijimon. Okay, I'll just try one Chijimon and see if it still works. Cool! I grabbed the potato chips! It worked! Maybe you can't handle so much power flowing through you. Hey, did you have to eat it all? What? I'm just testing my arm. Did you have to test the flavor too? Anyway, now we know one Chijimon gives you full power, but three give you less power. We need help. I know, we can ask Jenny and Jaren to join the team. Uh, you just met Jaren? Can we trust him? Do you have a better idea? You're right. I'll make their costumes right away. Here's Jaren's number. I got it from our science project together. Call both of them now. Hey guys, this is Jun. The city needs your help. It's losing power fast, so I need you to join the team. You mean I get to have superpowers too? I'm in. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? I'm the one who saved you from the bullies. If you join us, you'll get superpowers too. So, are you in? Hello? Hello? Jaren? Are you still there? Oh, oh, he lost connection. I hope nothing bad happened to him. Oh, no. Did the robots get Jaren? Or did the power outage reach his house? Subscribe to find out what happened to Jaren in the next episode. The end. Episode 8. The team. Jaren got disconnected. What do we do? Maybe the robots got him. He's probably in big, big trouble. Actually, I'm still here. I'm just shocked that I get to join the team. I'm so excited. Well, you gave us a scare. Can you guys meet me at the park tomorrow? I have something for you. Okay, guys. Parts of the city are out of power because robots are draining it. How can we help? You each get a Chijimon that gives you superpowers. This one makes you strong and this one lets you stretch your arms. Ooh, I want the stretchy arms. I want the strong one. Listen guys, these robots are tall walking crabs and there are also small ones with wheels. How do we stop them? You need to find where the battery is and remove it. Ready? Here are your costumes. This is where the robots are. Let's go robot hunting! That's a crab walker. I'll distract it. Janet, you grab the legs to make it fall and Jaren can find where the battery is and rip it out. Go! Quick, Janny, grab the legs! Got it! I'm looking for the battery. Found it, but... Oh, it's stuck! Use your super strength, duh! I got the battery! Good job, guys. Let's look for the rest of them. One hour later, we took down three crab walkers. Let's look for more robots. Look! There's a small one. Let's follow it. I got this. Holy moly macaroni! It's taking all the little robots back. You win this time, Ninja, but we'll be back. Check this out, guys. You're on the news. Breaking news, the city's power has been restored thanks to these three superheroes. We saved the city! Woohoo! Let's do the floss dance! And this is the end of Season 1 of Chijimon. Episode 9, The Twins. Maxis, can you stop looking outside the window and come join us? We need someone smart to help us beat this. Are you still looking for the spaceship? Nothing's happened for a long time, so stop worrying. I just don't have a good feeling about this. It's been too quiet. Okay then, keep looking at nothing while we have fun. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we're being watched. Come take a look at this. Seriously, Maxis? This is the hundredth time you said this. Fine, I'll look anyway. What the... I think you're finally right. They're just staring right at us. Are you serious? Let me see. I think 
they're trying to tell us something with that sign. Are they trying to warn us? Let me see if I can zoom in to get a better look. There, much better. <gasps> the sign says we know. What do they know? Did any of you tell anyone? I didn't tell anyone except you guys. Was it you, Jenny? Did you upload that video of me lifting a bus on YouTube? Of course not. I deleted that video a long time ago. Shh! They just wrote another sign. It says... Everything? They know everything? <gasps> oh no, what do we do? Calm down, everyone. There's only one way to find out. I'll use my super speed to go ask them and I'll be right back. But, but, isn't that dangerous? What if they work for the evil robot army? We'll never see you again. Uh, guys, don't bother going there. They just wrote another sign that says, Don't come to us. We'll come to you. <gasps> they can hear us. They do know everything. What do we do now? I'm scared. What if they kidnap us into the spaceship and take us to another planet that has no phone and internet? I just can't live like that. I'll never be a famous YouTuber. You only have seven subscribers. I'm more worried about how we'll survive in a different planet. Will we have to eat alien bugs? Ding dong. I think that's them. Don't open the door, Maxes. But, but, but. Put on your gears, guys. We must face them. I have lots of questions. And don't forget your Chijimon. We don't know if these kids are good or bad. Ready, guys? Why are they freaking out? Are they warning us about the kids? Maybe we shouldn't open the door. Come on, everyone. We have superpowers. What are we afraid of? Open the door, Maxis. Okay. Come on, I'm ready for you, bad guys! Are you going to karate chop forever or are you going to invite us in? Uh, stranger danger, we don't know you. Why should we invite you in? Okay, then follow us. Come with us to a safe spot where nobody's around. No, that's what kidnappers say. It's true, I saw it on TV. Whatever. You're going to regret not talking to us. Bye. Wait! Okay, you have our attention. Who are you guys and why are you reaching out to us? And how do you know who we are? What did you mean when you said you know everything? How did you know I wanted to approach you? Calm down, Jen. Calm down. <gasps> How do you know my name? What's going on? Now, do you want to invite us in? Episode 10 Return of the Robots Holy moly macaroni! You guys have Chijimons too? What are their powers? Shh, we shouldn't talk about this out here. Let's go back to my room. Uh, you're home already, Mom? I mean, hi, Mom, you're home. You sound surprised. What are you up to now, son? Nothing much. I just met two new friends and their names are... What are your names? My name's Olana. Hi, Max's mom. I'm Ollie. Nice to meet the both of you. Is it Halloween already? Why are you guys in costumes? Oh, <laughs> we're just playing dress up. You know, normal good stuff. Well, I'm glad you guys are out playing and not on social media like InstaFace and ClickClock. Mom, can I show my new friends my cool room? Sure, but leave your door open so you can hear me when I call you. Let's go, guys. Cool room. Come on, you guys. I'm dying to know what superpowers your Chijimons have. Well, my Chijimon allows me to see super far. And my Chijimon lets me hear things from miles away. Oh, that explained how you guys knew what we were talking about. Yep, we know a lot about you guys. 
<laughs> so why did you guys reach out to us? We need your help to find our uncle who's missing. He's all we got. Our parents left us when we were babies and he's been taking care of us ever since. Tell us more about your uncle. Where did he go last? What does he look like? What's his name? I saw my uncle get abducted by a spaceship. He wears a cowboy hat and his name is... <gasps> Mr. Sado? Mr. Sado is your uncle? Huh? What's going on? You know their uncle, Jen? Yes, he's the previous owner of my house in the Chijimon. Your uncle must be important since they took him. We must find him. Okay, let's try to piece together what we know. The more information we have, the faster we can find your uncle. Have you seen or heard anything unusual lately? I've been seeing red dots that look like eyes every night. I can't really make out what they are because it's so dark. We think they're robots because I can hear gears and mechanical sounds when I listen carefully. They're definitely robots from ERA, the evil robot army. All of the ones we saw had red eyes. I knew they'd be back. We have to be on guard and be ready for action at any moment. Guys, I have to go home now before I get in trouble. Can we continue the meeting later? Later that night. I am inside their secret base. I will gather data to find their weakness. Beep, 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 beep. He reads books about Chijimon, spaceships, and artificial intelligence. We should insert false information in his books. Beep, 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 beep. He uses a modified telescope capable of reducing light pollution. Beep, 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 beep. Humans appear to sleep at night to rest their brain and body. They will drool and make strange pig sounds while sleeping. Ha ha ha. My reconnaissance mission is complete and I will now return to the spaceship. The next morning. I really miss Uncle Sato. He made the best pancakes. Do you think we'll ever find him? We're just kids. We have new friends with Chijimon, so that should help us. What I don't understand is, why do the robots want our uncle? Ding dong! Huh? Who could that be? It's super early! <gasps> uncle Sado? Morning, Ollie and Olana! We figured that every minute counts, so we want to start early. How did you know where we live? Easy peasy, I found your address online. I'm good at this kind of stuff. Okie dokie, come on in and close the door behind you. Let's continue from last night. Is there any other information you guys can remember? Well, when they abducted my uncle, I did see a human-like figure inside the spaceship. A human inside a spaceship? They probably abducted more people. Why are they doing this? What do they want from us? There's something else I have to tell you guys. Last night when I was in bed, I heard a lot of robot chatter, but I couldn't make out what they were saying. Why didn't you let us know? You have our phone numbers. It was late and I didn't know where the sound was coming from. Those are all helpful information, but the question is, what should we do now? Ding dong. <gasps> Who could that be now? All of us are here. Stay right here. I'll go check. Don't open the door! Uncle Sato? I'm back. Miss me? Episode 11, The Evil Plan. Uncle Sato! We miss you so much. Oh, uh, yeah. I miss you guys too. I mean, I miss you guys so, so, so much. Uncle Sato, where have you been? Did the evil robot army capture you? Yes, but I made it out alive and that's all that matters. How did you manage to escape? Uh... Did you have access to the internet? What does the inside of the spaceship look like? Did you have to eat alien bugs to survive? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You kids are asking a lot of questions. I just got back. Let me rest up first. 
sorry, Mr. Sato. We'll come back another time. I have a million questions for you. A million questions? Uh, sure. Jun, can you bring your suit over to my house? You're about to get an upgrade. Sweet! Later that day. What do you want to show me, Maxis? It better be important. I was watching the newest Roy Spadoy's episode. You know how the robots are electronic? If we can jolt their components with enough electricity, we can shut them down. I don't know what you're saying, but that sounds cool. How do we do that? Behold, the shock blade. What can I do with this little thing? I might as well use a fork. Click. Bzz. Wow. Check this out. Bzz. Hey, be careful with that. That take goes. <laughs> Don't worry, it doesn't hurt humans. But it's devastating to robots. One slice and it'll shock them out of commission. Cool! That's not all. Push the other button to release a grappling hook that lets you swing from buildings. Wow! You are so brilliant! You don't get just one. You get two shock blades. Are you serious? Get out of here! No, this is my house. You go and try out the grappling hook. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, here we go! Cool! See you tomorrow! Meanwhile at the twins' house. Uncle Zato! Uncle Zato! Can you play with us? I'm busy. Please, it'll be fun. We can play Rochambeau like the good old days. Rosham what? Rochambeau? How do you play that? It's Rochambeau, Uncle Sado. How can you not remember? That's our favorite game. Oh, uh, right. Rochambeau. Give me a moment to remember the rules. My memory is not what it used to be. Beep, 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 beep. I remember how to play now. It's basically rock, paper, scissors. Yay! After Rochambeau, can we also play Una, Candy Cane Land, and The Floor is Lava? Uh, okay, but you have to go to bed right after. Later that night. I can't take it anymore. I'll go insane if I have to play another game of Rochambeau. How much longer do I have to stay here? Quiet. The boy has excellent hearing abilities. Don't worry. They'll all sleep. If we need to, we can communicate by transferring data to our minds, like you're speaking in my mind right now. So how much longer do I have to stay? I can't wait to get out of this fake body! Complete your mission of capturing all their Chichimon, and you may return to base. It's not as easy as it seems because they all have special abilities and are more powerful than me. Chichimon cannot be taken by force, for they serve only one master. Convince the children to give them to you so the transfer of ownership is complete. How can I convince them? They're smarter than you think. They beat me in Una seven times! Get them to look into your eyes for five seconds. And use your hypnosis power to command them to do anything. This is going to be easy peasy. We will control the world in no time! <laughs> the world will soon be ours! Episode 12 Trapped Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot What? I lose again? Yep, that's 17 times in a row, Uncle Sato Hmm, it seems AI has yet to defeat the unpredictability of spontaneous human thoughts and actions What are you mumbling about, Uncle Sato? Oh uh, I was just talking to myself. I do that a lot. How about we do something more fun than Rochambeau? It's Rochambeau. Rochambeau, Rochambeau, potato, potato, same thing. Let's invite your friends over for a Chijimon party. Doesn't that sound fun? Ooh, ooh, that sounds so fun. But what do we do in a Chijimon party? Tell them to bring their Chijimon and you'll see. It's going to be a big, big surprise for sure. Okie dokie. Hey friends, 
My uncle Sato wants to throw a Chichiman party. Can you guys bring your Chichiman over now? Ooh, we never had a Chichiman party. I'll bring chips and soda. We'll be right there. Bring your suits too. You never know when we'll need it. I don't have a good feeling lately. See you guys soon. Bye. Uncle Sato, can you make our favorite pancakes for the party? I really miss them. I kind of forgot how to make them. Let me try to remember. Beep, 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 beep. That's okay, Uncle Sato. We can help you like we always did before. Come, let's go get the flour and eggs to mix them. Five minutes later. This is easier than I thought. Uncle Sato, you look so funny. You have flour on your nose. Ha 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 ha. Is that supposed to be funny? Yes, because you look silly with white powder all over your face. Oh, ha 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 ha! This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys look silly too. I'm not the only one with flour on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong! Your friends are here with the Chijimon. Open the door. We're here. Party, party, party! What should we play first? Not Rochambeau for sure. Let's play something more predictable like memory cards. I should be good at that. <laughs> Twenty minutes later, I win again and again and again. This is fun, right? Mr. Sato, you're so good at this. How can you remember every card we flip over? It's like you're a robot. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess I just have really good short-term memory. Hey, where's my Chijimon? It's right here. See how easy it is to lose your Chijimon? Why don't you kids let me hold them for you, and I'll keep them in a safe, safe place? That's a good idea. We can trust Uncle Sato to take good care of them. No, that's not a good idea. If we put them all in one spot, we risk losing them all. We should keep them separate. But, but. Also, Chijimon powers don't work on adults. We need to hang on to them in case the evil robot army appears. Can I have my Chijimon back? Fine. Here you go. One hour later. It's getting late. We should get going. That was fun. We definitely should do this again. Bye. Beep, 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 beep. Send in robots to capture these kids and their Chijimons. We will pressure these brats to give them up willingly. Does anyone else find Mr. Sato's behavior strange? How does he not get one single card wrong? It's weird that he wants to keep the Chijimon when it was him who gave them to me in the first place. What are those? them and bring them back to base. Holy moly macaroni! Episode 13. Shocked. Capture them. Spread out now so they can't get us. Ah! <laughs> you can't capture me. I can stretch. Uh-oh. Slowpoke, I'm too fast for you. It's about time I get to use my superpower! Yeah! What else you got? Ah! I have no superpowers, you guys! Come help me! Ha 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 ha! Not so fast! Uncle Sato, would you like to have the last piece of pancake? I don't think you had any. Actually, we never seen you eat anything. Uh, I don't get hungry easily, and when I do eat, you're sleeping. Why don't you kids go do what humans do? Oh, I mean, what you kids normally do, like brush your teeth or something like that. You're funny, Uncle Sato. Wait, I see something happening far away. I think our friends are in trouble. I think you're right. I can hear some fighting and screaming. I think they're in big trouble. Uncle Sato, can we go check on them, please? 
I think you guys had a long day and you're just seeing and hearing things. Why don't we do something calming? My memories are bad lately. Why didn't you help me remember what kind of uncle I was? Ooh, ooh. We used to love looking at the photo album together. I'll go get it. Got it. Look, Uncle Sato. We used to go swimming at this beach a lot. You said the water was warm, but it was actually really cold. Remember that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. This is when we were hiking at the Grand Canyon and your hand got hurt. Huh? Where's your scar? Oh, it went away. What's this picture? Why does everyone have an ice cream except me? That's not fair. You forgot, Uncle Sato? I dropped my ice cream and I was about to cry, so you gave me yours. Why would I do that? You said you didn't want me to cry and wanted me to be happy. You love me, Uncle Sato. Love? Yeah, love. You love us so much that you're always willing to give up things for us. You gave up so much for us. I... I... Boom! What was that? I'm scared. It's probably just a garbage truck. Ah! Let go of me, you big, ugly, long-legged mosquito robot! Ugh. I got you, Maxis! Ah! Ah! Let go of me! No! You let go of my friend first! Never! I'm coming, Maxis! Yes! Ah! Got you! Thanks, guys. That was a close one. Bang! You forgot about me. Boom! Bzzz. I can't move! <laughs> it's so quiet now. I don't hear fighting anymore. I don't see them anymore. Is it over? Are our friends... It's time for bed. Go to sleep and don't worry about what you saw and heard. Tomorrow will just be another day. Uncle Sato, can you stay with me? I'm scared to sleep by myself. Ah, what did you just do to me? I just touched you. Touch? You are warm. Unlike machines. Yes, I will stay with you. Thank you for staying with me, Uncle Sato. I knew you still love me. Ollie, I think it's best if I hold on to your Chijimon for you. But Jen said... Ollie, give me your Chijimon. Uncle Sato, what are you doing? <laughs> Episode 14, Abduction Uncle Sato, what are you doing? Why are you holding him like that? Uh, I was just about to give him a hug. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Okay, that's enough. I'm tired. Good night. <sighs> Can I get a hug too? Of course. I feel so safe when I'm with you, Uncle Sato, because I know you'll always protect us. I'm scared that the robots would come get us, but now that you're here, I'm not scared anymore. Uncle Sato, can you promise you'll never abandon us again? Promise? Yes. Promise you'll never, ever leave us. I can't sleep if you don't promise me. Okay, I promise. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Uncle Sato's gonna be by your side. 
ズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズ There's no escape, and you will never return to Earth again. I want my mommy! Who's that? Yeah! Ah! We're falling down! Ugh, I'm starting to get my powers back! Yeah! Grab onto me now! <laughs> Got it! Oh! You got lucky this time, but we'll be back. Ha 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 ha! Thanks for saving us! Who are you? You have superpowers too? My name is Mei Li, and yep,、yeah, I have a Chijimon too. Goody goody goo. What is going on with me? Why do I have feelings? I'm not supposed to feel anything. Is this love? Snap out of it. You are nothing but a robot. You have no feelings. You have no emotions. Are you always listening to my thoughts? It is my job to make sure you complete your mission. And your mission is to get all the Chijimons for the Master. I know, but I need more time. Now is the perfect time. We failed to capture the kids earlier, so we must capture these twins. What do you want me to do? They won't give me their Chijimons, and I can't take them by force. Carry them and their Chijimons outside. The Master's spaceship will be here soon. I will go get them now. Now place them down in the light so we can bring them up. Wait, will they ever get to come back to Earth? No, there is no need for them to return. Okay. But they're just children. Remember who you are. You are not Sato and you have no family. Now put him down. Yes. Episode 15 Revelation. Remember who you are. You are not Sato and you have no family. Now put him down. Yes. Uncle Sato? Can you promise you'll never abandon us again? Okay, I promise. Why are you hesitating? Put the boy down. What are you doing? Why are you getting up? Bring the boy back. This is a command. I can't do it. I promise not to abandon them. Promise is not a concept that you understand. You're just a robot. Don't confuse yourself with being a human. It's not my fault that I was created to learn what it's like to be human. Stop right there. You were supposed to learn how to manipulate humans, not become one. You will never, ever become one of them. There must be a glitch, and you must come back so we can fix you. Fix me? No! 
I'm staying to protect these kids and you will never be able to hurt them. What? Hello? Hello? I've been disconnected. What will happen to me now? Am I still part of the evil robot army? Am I on my own now? Am I now... human? Never. They will never accept you once they know the truth. They will destroy you when they find out you're nothing but a robot. I don't believe you. Now leave. Not without you. <laughs> Let me down. Meanwhile, my name is Meili, and yep, I have a Chijimon too. Goody -goody -goo. Yay, I'm not the only girl in the team anymore. Who said I'm going to be in your team? I work alone. You should join us because five names are better than one. Hmm. You do have a point. I'll think about it. Until next time. Bye. Well, this was a crazy long night. We should go home soon. Wait, if we were in trouble, maybe Ollie and Alana are in trouble too. We should go check on them. No, Mr. Sato is with them. So what could possibly go wrong? Let's get some rest and recharge your Chijimons. We'll meet up with them tomorrow. Put me down. I'm not going anywhere with you! You don't have a choice. We need to erase all the memories that make you human. No! Let go of Mr. Sato! Don't worry, Mr. Sato! I'll save you! It's just you? Where's everybody else? They went home. I had a feeling that you guys would be in trouble, so I came by myself. There's no time to talk! Huh? huh? Where did he go? Careful! He's in the air right behind you! Are you sure that's me? What? Which one is the real one? No! I didn't get the real one! I'm out of energy! Say goodbye to Earth. I can't beat him! He's too powerful! Run, Mr. Sato! I'm not leaving you! Quick, throw your sword at his quantum orb! That's his weak spot! That circle thingamajig? Why didn't you say so sooner? Boom! Leave us alone, you bad robot with octopus hair! Ha ha ha! You think you're saving Mr. Sato? He's not who you think he is. Don't listen to him, Jun! What do you mean? What are you trying to say? Mr. Sato is a robot. Episode 16, Confusion. Mr. Sato is a robot. Sorry, we thought you were inside. Is it true, Mr. Sato? Are you a robot? Jun, listen. Are you part of the evil robot army? Tell me, what's the difference between a human and a robot? Humans have feelings and emotions, and they can love and care for others. I never once hurt you or the others, and I protected Ollie and Alana from the ERA. Is that human enough for you? Go home and rest, Jan. You've had a long day. Let me out! Let me out! I need to go back to my family! Ha 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 ha! Don't worry about your niece and nephew. We cloned your DNA and sent a robot to replace you. You already cloned me! What do you need me for? We can't release you because you ruined our plans. Now enjoy your stay. We're providing free room and food. What more do you want? Ha 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 ha. Fred again? Can't you guys be more creative? I miss making pancakes for Ollie and Alana. Will I ever get to see them again? Aliza, have you two accompany me? Arf, arf. 
I don't think I'll ever get out. What do you think? If I ever make it out, will you come with me? Nobody here cares for you anyway. <laughs> what? Are you trying to tell me something? What is it? Beep beep beep. Shh. What? You knew how to open the door all along? You know how many bread I have to eat? Ah, ah. Follow you? Okay. Uh oh, robot. Ah. Get out of our way. What in the world? I better crawl past them. Wow, this is crazy. What are they doing with those? What are these things? They look extremely powerful. Da, 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 da. Oh no, the discoverer were missing. What do we do now? <laughs> Got it, I'm right behind you. This room leads to nowhere. We're trapped. Ah. Beep, beep, beep. Wow. Uh, do I just jump out? Do you have a parachute or something? Ah, ah. You want me to grab onto your leg? How would that help? I mean, it's not that I don't trust you, but I don't think this is how a parachute works. Bang, bang. Open the door. Never mind, I'll take your leg. Let's go! Ah. Bang! Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doom, doom. Whoa! You have a propeller? Ah, ah, ah. Ali Onolana, Uncle Sato is coming home. Episode 17 Decision. You're awfully quiet lately, Jun. Is there anything you want to tell me before I drop you off? Jen. Mr. Sato is a robot. I can't believe Mr. Sato is a robot. Should I tell my friends? But if I tell them, Mr. Sato will become an enemy and Ollie and Alana will be heartbroken and lose their uncle. He's not bad, right? I mean, he did protect Ollie and Alana from the ERA. But don't they have the right to know? What should I do? John, can you hear me? Anyway, we're here now. Have a good day at school. We'll talk later. Good morning, class. Get into groups and continue to work on last week's project. Prepare to present in 30 minutes. Jaren, do you want to present the intro? Wait, can I present the intro? I have it all written down already. That's fine. I can talk about the orbit of the planets and moon around the sun. Jun, would you like to do the conclusion with me? Hello, Jun! Earth to Jun! Are you in La La Land? Remember that girl that saved us that night? We need to find her so we can recruit her. Oh yeah, she has the funny looking Chijimon. What was her name? I don't remember, but it starts with an M. Meili, would your group like to present first? Um, sure! <gasps> I think that's her! After school, I wonder if they recognize me. I don't want to join their team, so I hope not. Meili! Huh? Who called my name? Hi, are you Meili with the ninja mask? Huh? Who? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. We thought you were someone else. No worries. That happens all the time. Until next time. Bye! That is her! She said the exact same thing last time. That wasn't me. I don't know how to do a fireball. Yep, that's her. We never mentioned a fireball. We'll find a better time to talk to her, now that we know she's in our class. I wonder what Ali and Alana are up to. Let's go hang out with them tonight. That's a good idea. Let's officially invite them to the team. Ooh, I get to create more superhero costumes. I wonder if Mr. Sato will make pancakes for us. Jen, are you going? John, hello. 
You've been like this all day. Is something bothering you? Guys, I have to tell you something. You might want to sit down for this. Sit down where? There's no chair around here. Just tell us. There's nothing we can't handle. We've been through so much. <sighs> okay. Mr. Sato... Mr. Sato is... Never mind. Mr. Sato's pancakes are good, and I can't wait to have some tonight. Phew! You gave me the heebie-jeebies. I thought you were going to say something crazy. Later that night... Anybody want seconds for the pancakes? I, I do, do, I, I do. do. <laughs> Jun, would you like seconds? You're the only one who didn't answer. Um, no thank you. I just want to say that I'm glad to be back. Ollie and Olana really need me, and I will always protect them. You understand that, right, Jun? Anyway, I ordered pizza with extra trees and pepperoni, just the way you guys like it. Aw, you're always so thoughtful, Uncle Sato. I love you so much, Uncle Sato. I'll be back with some more pancakes. Ollie and Lana, you're so lucky. You guys have the nicest uncle. Yep, you got that right. By the way, we're wondering if you would like to join the team so we can save the world from the ERA together. I can make cool outfits for you guys so you can save the world in style. Ooh, we would love to. We were wondering when you would ask. Pancakes ready! Woohoo! Yay! Woo yay! I have something important to tell everyone. Or should you say it, Mr. Sato? Jun. I guess I'll say it then. Mr. Sato is... Ding dong! Peace is here! I'll get the door! Pizza! Pizza! I'm back! Miss me? <gasps> Episode 18, The Truth I'm back, miss me? <gasps> He's an imposter, I'm the real Sato! Arr. What's going on? Why are there two Uncle Satos? It's true, that Mr. Sato is a robot! <gasps> is it true, Uncle Sato? Are you really a robot? Ulana! Let me explain. I... There's no need to explain. You're nothing but a liar. You're just pretending to be good so you can get all the Chijimons. No wonder he was trying to convince us to give him our Chijimon. That explains why he kept beating us in memory cards. There's no way someone can remember everything. So you are part of the evil robot army. You tricked us all along. Is it true, Uncle Sato? I'll only believe it if you say it. Olana. It's true. Meanwhile. The master says he's very disappointed that Sato escaped. He's disappointed in all of you. He says there will be punishment. Ha 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 ha. Aww. He says I will be punished the most. Wait, what? Why? I wasn't there when he escaped. He says I should have been there. Ha 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 ha. Why doesn't the master talk to us himself? He likes to stay hidden and mysterious. Why does he like to stay hidden and mysterious? Isn't it better to communicate with the team directly? Enough with the question. Find Sado no matter what or your software will be downgraded. Also, be careful of these kids. They beat Cephalon and destroy his quantum orb, so they are very powerful. Uh -uh. I'm scared. Stop trembling and go find Sato now. It's true. It's all true. 
However, I'm capable of learning what it's like to be a human. But you will never be human. You were created and not born from a mother like us. According to our calculations, everything was created, including humans. So we're not that different after all. You're wrong. You can't love like we do. No, I am right. Come out and surrender yourself, Sato, the real one. We know you're inside. You have five minutes before we come inside. Oh no, what do we do? We didn't bring our Chijimon, so we're not powerful enough to fight them. You know that it can all end right now, right? The ERA can win this war tonight. He's right. We're powerless against them. Uh, are we really going inside? You forgot what they did to Cephalon? They're powerful with their Chijimon. Shh, I'm just scaring them. Let's hope they fall for it. Answer me this. What is the greatest form of love? Why does it matter when you are incapable of this? <laughs> I'll answer you anyway. The greatest form of love is... Sacrifice. This belongs to you. What are you doing? I'm replacing you. Again. What's your name and what do you really look like? I am H11MN 6.0. I don't look like anything physical and you cannot see me. I cannot touch and I cannot be touched. What do you mean? I am software downloaded into this lab created brain and body that is a clone of your Uncle Sato. Becoming your Uncle Sato was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. For the first time, I could feel the warmth of a human touch. For the first time, I could feel happiness and sadness. Human emotions have always seemed like science fiction, but it's more real than me. I have never felt more real and alive, but I have to let this body go now so that you'll be safe. I do have one last request. Ali and Olana, can you call me Uncle Sato one last time? Okay, I understand if you don't want to. <sighs> does he really love us? Either he really does, or they're learning to use this emotion against us. We don't know. We don't know. Find more Chijimons and get more help! You need an army to defeat the evil robot army! Farewell, my family. Noosh. Uncle Sato! Do you think he heard us? I hope so. We'll find more Chijimons, and then we'll find you. Thank you for watching Season 2 of Chijimon. 